Happy accident. Okay. Oh, hey, how's it going? I, uh, I didn't notice you there in the, uh, tripod in the center of my living room. I'm proper, but you probably already knew that. That's why you clicked on the video. You see, I'm a giver. I don't gatekeep. I like to share the knowledge, baby. That's why today, I'm gonna show you how to make your music sound exactly like mine. Now, remember eight seconds ago when I said I was a giver? I'm a giver. Yeah, that's kind of the half-truth. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm gonna give you some sounds. And you're gonna learn something from this video, I promise. But this video is sort of a long-winded advertisement for you to sign up for my Patreon. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine. And you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it. Look, you can take these samples and presets I'm giving you and make a song on them. I mean, I'm about to do it. Blam, look at that, cool new studio. But you could also sign up for my Patreon for only 10 bucks a month and get immediate access to nearly 450 of these serum presets and over 500 of these samples. And a ton of tutorials, production, mixing, mastering, insight of how I work in the studio, even a DJ tutorial. You get blog write-ups about gain staging, album artwork, how to promote your music. You get exclusive feedback videos from me once a month, tons of other content. Did you hear me say immediate access to all of it for 10 bucks? It's literally all there. And guess what? If you listen to any song that I've put out in the past year, I can guarantee you it's made up of 99% my own sounds from Patreon. God, I need a teleprompter. Anyway, if you need more convincing, the rest of this video should help. This is a great time for me to thank my sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. I'm just fucking kidding. <laughs> You think I would be sponsored by Reed Shadow? <laughs> Did you even notice this wasn't plugged in? <laughs> So here we are, just me and you, together, in my studio, we're about to make a banger, and at the end of this you're gonna be like, shit, I really need these sounds. We're just gonna get right into it. <coughs> okay, so immediately I'm going to go through some of these sample packs and see if there's some kind of melodic sample I made that I can use to get me started with some inspiration. By the way, this template I'm using here, you might have noticed, is actually available also on my Patreon. I have a video about it and I'll put that right here. So reaching into this old school pack I have. I think that one could be good. Let's check in this synth uh, folder as well and see what we got. I also have this pack, which is full of synth chord bass stabs. I'm going to check through some of these. I haven't even used this one yet. I think that's the winner. Let me get this gain staged right away. And immediately, let's get some side chain right on this group. Let's get a kick from one of these packs. Get that in the track. Let's get a clap. Start with this one. I want to tighten that up. Good enough for now. It's time for some hats. And luckily, I just paused the video and spent about 10 minutes putting together this sampler with all of the hi hats I've made on Patreon so far, and I'll probably put it up on Patreon. So let's get a loop going. When I say I have the hi-hat sauce, I mean that I have the hi-hat sauce. Start with the opens. All right, copy that through. This is actually a pretty decent sample to start with anyway. The next step is layering. Not bad. I'm gonna do some alternation here. Bring everything down a bit.
Let's get some extra percussion going. And luckily, I've got a lot of those samples. First, I'm going to look at some shakers and tambourines type things. I'm going to grab this first one. Get this on grid. Always make sure you're managing that quantization. Transient Shaper is our best friend. Let's get another one. Another one. It's one of my favorite tambourines I've made. Get that on grid. Manage your quantization. Hey, you, get a hand on your quantization. <laughs> Alright, this is vibey. Let's get one more percussion before I touch a bass line. Now, my favorite pack on my Patreon is my exotic drum sample pack, and we're about to check that out now. Start light. Nice. Dig that one. Now, I'll be honest, I'm a big fan of building songs around something to make sure that you have some sort of source material. But I'm not really vibing with these chords anymore. Because I told you guys we we're going to make a song in the style of me, and I want to make a song in the style of me. So we're going to sub out that sample, and then move forward with a bass line. So I'm actually going to dip into this pack that is full of synth samples that I made, and I got some really good ones here to start songs off. I really want to do something cool with this one. It's sitting on G flat, F sharp right now. Let's pull that down to F. All right. Now it's time to get a bass line going. And with my Patreon, we just hit week 42 of Serum presets. And that means there's over 420, 420 dude, fire. presets for you to download immediately right now. I personally have organized those presets for myself into two folders, one that has all of the individual folders of each week and one that has all of the presets in one. And what's a proper track without a good 808? This here is one of my favorites. I'm going to start getting a sequence just with one note here, probably. One thing about my serum presets to know is that you should only have to stay in the C2 to C3 octave when you're searching through synths. You can always explore out of it, but I make sure to keep all of my sounds consistent. Not the groove yet. Let's try it over here. bad. Let's mess around with some of these notes. Join this together. Maybe save that for the second time through. Copy all that over. Blam. Blam. We got an 808. kind of want to wrap up this bass line with a little bit of resolution melody, so I'm going to pull this over for one more bar. We're going to take these last notes over here. I think that's it. Me likey. And that's a resolution. Thank you. I know. Thanks. Now, something I always like to do is throw a nice, big, fat, juicy stab right on the first beat. And lucky for you guys, I made a Truth and Lies inspired pack a few weeks ago that really nailed one of their stabs. Take a bite of this. Chop that note. Paste it up here. Sick. Now I want to get another stabby sound to kind of complement these notes that come right after that. This is where I scroll all the way down in my synth section and I just try some things out. Ooh, I'm starting to like that. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Nice. I think that deserves a little bit extra reverb love.
in my head, I'm hearing like a descending pluck. And I'm going to kind of just avoid the sample I threw in there, but it was a great song starter. I'm kind of like on this vibe right now where I just want to throw down a fast rate and swing the bass line. My bad, people. Probably sound way better with swing. Going back to what I was saying, I'm kind of just feeling the vibe of a super fast plucky sound going on here, you know, swung, of course, and it's just, it's going, but it's not just like flowing on just like a constant pluck, like, so we're going to go over here, we're going to go through my plucks. I know that this is pretty much the same sound as right here, something we could do, maybe go up an octave with it in general. Not bad. Now stay with me here. One beat, go down. Right? Okay. That's not all though. It's not all folks. We're gonna go up. Alright, and then we're gonna hit it with the washout macro. Let's see what happens. Maybe we can get like a different stab going there too. You know, just to like kind of like feed off of it. Let's find a good stab. Ooh, I like this one. No, that's that's not that's that's not what I intended to do. <laughs> Let me just hear how that sounds. Okay, but hear me out. Happy accident. Okay. All right, all right, hold on. One second here. Dude. Give me give me some space here. Give me some space here, bro. And we could talk, bro. All right. So, obviously macro 1 just needs to Okay. What is this routed to? All right, we just could go down further. Okay. Sick. All right, what else does this need, though? Some of this action up here, like... All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. Regardless, that sounds sick. Happy accident. Happy accident. All right. Now, I'm not going to make that mistake again. Some bass stabs, some bases I've made, and see if we can get a cool little jab out of one of them. Oh, I actually have a great one. And you guys are going to love that if this ends up in this song, it's going to be included in the pack. From this week of my wubs, I have a sound that's the main sound from my Magnolia remix. And if I'm smart, I should play the Magnolia remix right here. In New York, I'm Millie Rock. I did in my sock shop. Might not be the right vibe, but let's see. We could try doing this. Actually, let's try doing this as like a little fill. Little fill. See, that's... And I didn't even cut off the sub, that's why I was a little bit weird, but that's where the, the money's at, baby. Now... If you're on Logic, you have a beautiful thing called selection-based processing. Now, remember these keys, Shift, Option, P. And if you can't remember them, that's fine, because you could just go up to your help bar and search selection-based processing. No, you can't. <laughs> what you can do is right-click on the piece of audio and go down to processing right here and do selection based processing. So what I'm about to do is cut all the lows off this kick for this audio sample only. When I want to do fills instead of doing an automation. Beautiful. We're going to manage the side chain here on some automations. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm convinced that one of these wubs from that specific pack is going to be good as a stab. So let's just get a note going up there. We're going to jump right back into that wubs pack. Not bad. It's okay. Ooh. 
Love me some Reese stabs. That might be a good one for you guys. Let's see how that feeds off. Cool. I think it needs kind of a swell into it too. I'm going to pull this down in my bass group. I do think though that this one needs a swell coming into it. So I'm going to go into here. We're going to grab another one of my basses. I'm actually going to take this FM bass I have. Nice. Now we got a nice swell going into that. Right there, we can get another synth that's kind of like this stab going. Let me go right back through the synths here. The stab from House All the Time by Biscuits. Oh yeah, baby. I feel like we're gonna need one more little kind of thing in this area. And let's look through some of my synth samples and stuff, see if there's anything that will work. I mean, if the shoe fits. Let's see what happens. See, what I'm going to do is try to shorten that up a little bit. I think that's working for now. Actually, I think the one thing this needs is a little bit of pizzazz. Where's the pizzazz? Huh? And I'm going to reach into one of my favorite free plugins here. This is the Finisher Micro by UJam. And within this plugin, there's a specific preset. It's their frequency shifter. And man, does this thing mean business. So we're going to drop this here. We're going to do a little movement with it. Let's see if we can even make that go. Nice. I think to complement that, those little wubs, we need a little extra reverb to pull it out. Yeah, I'm really liking that. Now, I do have some vocals in these packs. Let's go through some of those and see if there's anything we could find that works. And here's some vocal phrases. Moving in this place, time to cut a couple shapes. Oh, fucking hell. The fucking bass is fucking <laughs> I just keep it proper, spitting lines off. Just need a sec to breathe. Fucked up on some. Told y'all I never quit. She got a steady job, but she still get in for free. I mean, I think this is the best option right here. Make sure this is on grid. So we're gonna drop this as a pre-drop. She got a steady job, but she still get in for free. Make sure the vocal group is side chained slightly for when the kick does come in. I really need a pre-drop fill here. Now I got a pack full of fills. That one actually could just be perfect. Make sure you're following your swing. You'll get in for free. I'm gonna create a little fill for this last piece here. Get a couple claps. Make sure we're following the swing always. Free. All I want to do here is make sure those are nice and tight as well. Let's look at a crash cymbal. I'm going to throw it on this wet channel here, which has some delay and reverb pre-installed on it for you. Let's go shorter on that. Get in for free. And then something I'm going to do as well is create a reverse crash symbol simply by processing in some extra reverb from Bahala Room. A lot of extra reverb, actually. Let over, add an effect tail. Voila, you got a big reverb tail on that symbol. So all you got to do is cut off the front part, move it over here to the fill, cut it, delete, reverse, fade it. Now we have a reverse sweep. Go get in for free. Okay, I'm, you know, I'm, 
I'm feeling this. I was like not sure, but I'm actually like I might pursue this song outside of this video. Not gonna lie to you guys. I think we can do with some vocals here. Um, and I think the approach is pulling in little altar boy. What we'll do is we'll go down uh four steps. She got a steady job. And then what we're gonna do is take a second instance of little altar boy. We're gonna go up seven steps. We're gonna pull the mix down pretty low. She got a steady job, but she's still getting for free. And then we can hit it since it gets all the kind of like a little bit of phasing issues. What I like to do when I'm lazy, go into Isotope's vocal doubler, which is another free plugin, spread that shit out. She got a steady job, but she's still getting for free. And now you got yourself a monster vocal. Gonna pull this over just a little bit. See what happens. Let's grab another. Let's get like an effect going and like a little extra going on the fill here. I'm gonna look at these fills that I have from that same week. That one's actually one of my favorites. Try that out. Now let's get some riser effects action going. Let's use a riser from my preset packs. I think I want to go for two bars, a note on F, fan that out. So here we're going to go into my effect samples, simple two bar riser to start. That's kind of nice. So we got rates here too. Like right here, I'm just gonna hit it with that old jump. Cool. Cool. Get that crash symbol reverse. Very nice. Let's get a little bit of a build up going in here. And this, I will use some of my risers. Give this a little cut on the lows. Let's go to my downers, get a quick downer. Oh, that's good. Shave it down comfortably. Let's pull that over with a hefty fade. Cut off even more of those lows. Yeah, like, like that. Okay. Get one of those drum rising fills because I'm too lazy to make it in front of you and then I can't give you the sample, so. I think this one with the mixed claps and snares is gonna be cool. Make sure we're swinging stuff. I'm gonna take the same stab, we're gonna copy it over here, hold a full space here. And then I wanna pull a little trickery. We're going to go on the pitch bend up, plus 12. And we're going to take all these notes, go down, pitch bend, take this up. See what happens. Latency, that's what happens. Give me one moment. Alright, I just gave my computer a little cool down. It's been a good boy, so we gave it a little rest. And now, ladies and gentlemen, let's listen to the final version of this project. Well... The version that we have now, I guess. She got a steady job, but she still get in for free. And that's a big bunch of my sounds, so uh, I'm going to be bundling up all of these sounds into a little pack for you guys, all of these presets and all these samples so you could download them and mess with them yourself. I hope you got a little bit of insight um, into my workflow. Make sure to go and please check out my Patreon if you want to grab all of these samples, presets, 
out, see all the tutorials, everything available immediately. Just go and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. I put countless hours into it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you follow me up on social media to stay up to date. I'm constantly releasing new music, playing shows, and just enjoying life. I hope you are too. I'll see you guys soon.